Hello, welcome to my channel. In the previous video, we have seen how to create SOA service. In this video, we are going to see how to create a simple OSB service using JDeveloper. If you are new to my channel, don't forget to check out other interesting videos on installation and configuration. Before developing a service, uh, let us try to understand few concepts. So first is proxy service. As the name suggests, it is an intermediate web service that implements the mediation logic and uh, it is exposed uh, for source system so that they can consume it and call it. And it can also consume data from JMSQ or database. So let's say this is our proxy service. It can also consume data from a queue or a database. So we can use proxy service as a consumer service as well. Or this can be called by a source system as a web service call. We can expose proxy service as a SOAP based service or any XML service or a REST service. Next is business service. It is a service in OSB which is used to connect target system. And this target system can be anything like JMSQ, database or any other third party system. So we can call these systems from our business service to publish data or to get some data from these target systems. Third is a pipeline. So it is a sequence of stages and uh, there can be multiple elements in the pipeline. So typically we have request pipelines for request processing and response pipelines for response processing. So in the pipeline flow, we can have multiple activities uh, for assignment or for transformation, or we can also call a target system from our pipeline. So this is our JDeveloper start page. Let us create OSB application. For that, you can go to File, click New, and inside that, uh, you will have Application. Here, we will select Service Bus Application with Service Bus Project. Here, we will give the name of uh, the application. So, I am giving Hello Service Bus Application, and this will be the path where our application will be saved. So I will keep this as is. Click next. Here we can give uh, the name of project. So I'm giving hello SB project and we can finish it. So you can see we have one composite and a pom.xml file. So unlike SOA project, we don't get any file structure here. So we'll have to create folders inside this to create folder you can right click on this project and here you can go to new and from gallery you can select folder so i am creating a folder for resources and uh, this will be the directory for the project you can see a folder has been created you can directly go to project directory and create folders there as well. Let's see that as well. So this is our project path and here we can create one more folder. That is proxy service. Now in your J developer, you can refresh this application and you can see proxy service is reflecting here. Now we will create a schema for our request and response structure and we will keep that in resources folder. So right click here, go to new and select XML schema and here you can see the directory for it, first change that. So it should be under resources, select this and the name of schema will be hello schema. I'm giving it as hello.xsd and I'm keeping target namespace as whatever is here. You can also change it. For prefix, I'm giving he and uh, I'm clicking OK. 
so you can see a schema has been created with one example element i'm going to rename this element as input and under this element we are going to create one sequence and uh, we'll create another element inside this and we will name this element as request Similarly, we are going to create one more element for our output. So you can go to insert after element and this will be an element and the name of element will be output. And similarly, we will create a sequence inside this element. And then we will create one more element that will be our response. you can go to source and check uh, the request and response elements are there so this part is done now based on this schema we are going to create a visual file so similarly you can right click here go to new and you can create one visual a name of visual we are giving as hello and this will be the directory for the visual this is the name space we will go with the defaults binding will be execute underscore bind you can rename it or you can keep it as is and uh, here we are creating a port that will be execute underscore ptt and you can uh, change the operation so here we are changing it to concat uh, under interface type we are going to select synchronous and uh, we will select input and output from our schema so click plus and here you can search schema so inside our hello.xsd we have one input i'm selecting this and a part name i can give it as input click ok similarly we will select it for the output so you can see our input and output schema have been selected here we are not going to select fault schema and we can click ok and you can see inside the resource folder there is one visual file generated and you can also go to source and check our input output elements if you press control and click this element you can go to schema directly now we will go to our composite now here you can see we have three different canvases so in the left hand side we have a area for proxy service here we have a area for pipeline and here we can have uh, external services uh, like some kind of database adapter or uh, jmsq adapter or we can do a web service call from here here we can have a pipeline and this will be our proxy service which will be exposed to the uh, our client system so this will be the typical flow we have a client system here this client system will uh, consume the web service of our uh, exposed proxy so this will be our hello.visital file you can see here and uh, from proxy we are going to connect to pipeline and from pipeline we can again call to target system uh, using business service so this will be a typical flow for our OSB project. In the right hand side you can see different uh, components in the resource palette. So this is our pipeline. You can drag and drop it to pipeline section. And you can also see some adapters for AQ, database, uh, for HTTP, for MQ. You can also select these components and uh, drag it to external service area so this is how it works 
so let's uh, create a pipeline uh, which will use this uh, yellow visual which we have already created and as part of this uh, service what we are going to do we are just uh, going to concat a string and uh, return it as a response so we are not going to use request pipeline here we are just going to use response pipeline and in the response pipeline we are going to concat a string and return it to the uh, source so let's see how it is going to happen you can also right click here and insert a pipeline so i am giving it as a hello pipeline and this will be the location for this uh, pipeline you can also create a template and use uh, it for your pipeline creation process but as of now we don't have any template and so we are not going to take it from here next and here you get different different options so uh, we already have visual so i am going to select a visual and uh, we will select it from our project and you can see this uh, hello.visual under uh, resource you can also import visual file from your file system if you have so for now i am just selecting it from here and uh, here we will be exposing this uh, as a proxy service so check this checkbox and the name of proxy service will be hello proxy service i'm deleting pro pipeline from here and this is our proxy location and this will be the proxy transport finish so you can see we have a proxy service here and this is our pipeline so you can double click to pipeline and here you have a, a node which will be a start node for this pipeline and under this we are going to add a pipeline pair so you can simply drag it from the palette and uh, put it uh, below our first node so as i mentioned we are not going to do anything in the request pipeline we are simply i uh, use concat function and uh, return hello plus our input string to uh, the source system so for that i am going to use a replace activity so as soon as you uh, select replace activity you will see some options for it so in the location i am going to select body because we are going to replace body and uh, uh, i am giving a dot for the current element and the value will be concatenated function so i am going to select a function from a string function so you can find it under uh, function tab and when you scroll down you should see a string and here under general functions you will see concat function click this insert into expression so your function is there so we are going to concat hello string with our input so this input variable we can take it from the variables so it can be from the body request input and this variable click ok so that's it our replace activity is ready and here you can see two options replace entire node and replace node content so we are going to select replace node content so what uh, these two options do let's understand that so let's say this is our soap body and uh, if we are selecting entire node then we'll have to uh, replace entire soap body from top to bottom but in our case we just want to uh, replace a node so which can be inside our soap body 
so we are just going to replace this that's why we are selecting node not entire body so if you are selecting entire body then in the replace action uh, expression you will have to mention entire soap body so that it can be replaced otherwise it is going to give a error so we will save this pipeline and uh, we are going to deploy it uh, before that you can see uh, we have selected replace not contents so to deploy it uh, we are going to right click here on the project in the deploy option you can click hello sb project and here you can deploy to service bus server click next and you can see fmw domain is already there if it is not there you can add your connection so i am giving it as a fmw domain one next here you will have to give password now click next and here you can mention hostname port and uh, domain details so i am giving fmw domain here and we'll keep the rest of the details as is next and uh, now i can test connection for it so you can see our test connection is successful uh, we can press next and finish and let's uh, deploy our project on this target finish and we can click ok here so you can see it is deploying our project to fmw domain one so our deployment has been completed let's uh, check this in the sb console and you can see we have our hello sb project here in the sb console uh, let us test it so we can either test it from the proxy service or the pipeline service so we'll click the proxy service and you can click on launch test console to test this service so i am giving my name here and you can see the operation is concat which we gave while developing this service let's click on execute and you can see the response is hello mazahir and uh, which is the expected response from this service you can also test this from the pipeline and the benefit of testing from the pipeline is you can also see the execution flow so let's give mazahir again execute and uh, when you scroll down you can see the invocation trace here so this is our request and uh, this is our body and uh, in pipeline pair node you can see the replaced body here that's it for this video in the upcoming videos we will cover more interesting topics if you found this video helpful uh, please like my video, subscribe my channel, hit the bell icon for the further notification and don't forget to put your comments so that I can keep uh, coming with the new topics for you. Thank you.